How can I avoid ISF penalties for ultralight tent? Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss all things customs brokerage and international trade. In today's video, we're going to address a common question. How can you avoid ISF penalties for importing ultralight tents? So, if you're an outdoor enthusiast or a business owner in the camping industry, this video is for you. Let's dive in. Understanding ISF. Before we delve into avoiding ISF penalties, let's quickly recap what ISF is. ISF stands for Importer Security Filing, and it's a requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for importers to provide detailed information about their cargo prior to shipment. Importance of Filing ISF Filing ISF is crucial as it helps CBP assess the security risk of cargo entering the United States, ensuring the safety of the country. Failure to file or incomplete filing can result in penalties and delays for importers. Now, let's discuss how you can avoid these penalties when importing ultralight tents. Engage a Customs Broker One of the most effective ways to avoid ISF penalties is to engage a reliable customs broker. A customs broker is a licensed professional who acts as a liaison between importers, carriers, and CBP. They have the expertise and knowledge to ensure your ISF filings are accurate and compliant. Timely and accurate ISF filing When it comes to ISF filings, timing is crucial. Ensure that your customs broker files the ISF at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from the last foreign port. Additionally, it's important to provide accurate and complete information about the cargo, such as the shipper, consignee, manufacturer, and commodity description. Proper classification of ultralight tents. Properly classifying your ultralight tents is another key aspect to avoid ISF penalties. Work closely with your customs broker to determine the correct harmonized system, HS, code for your product. This code determines the duties, taxes, and other fees associated with the import. Compliance with other regulations. Apart from ISF requirements, it's essential to ensure compliance with other regulations. For example, your ultralight tents must meet safety standards set by regulatory bodies such as the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, or the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA. Communicate with your customs broker Clear and effective communication with your customs broker is crucial. Keep your broker updated on any changes or new information regarding your ultralight tents. This will help them make any necessary amendments to your ISF filings and ensure compliance. Lastly, staying informed about changes in customs regulations is vital. Subscribe to industry newsletters, attend trade conferences, or join relevant trade associations. This will enable you to stay up to date with any amendments to ISF filing requirements, ensuring you avoid penalties. And that's a wrap. We've discussed some valuable tips on how to avoid ISF penalties when importing ultralight tents. Remember, engaging a customs broker, timely and accurate filings, proper classification, compliance with regulations, effective communication, and staying informed are the key steps to success. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. Until next time, happy importing!